Press pause and answer the question. For this question, it's really easy if you understand how a histogram works. So what we're saying is we're assuming a student in Virginia that has decided on a public four-year in-state institution, which is near and dear to my heart because I'm a professor at Virginia Tech. So these are the kind of questions that people at the university deal with all the time. So the following histogram shows the cost of tuition and fees for these institutions in the state, in the state of Virginia. So the way you have to read a histogram is you have to look at the height of each graph of each bar as the frequency. In, in other words, the number of, in this case, the number of schools. And the x-axis is the class category. In this case, the range of prices, how much each university costs. So the question is, limiting our analysis to just a sample of schools and this histogram, which one of the following statements is most correct? And the correct answer is this one. Most universities in this set cost less than $14,001 per year because most of them are here. You see there's five that are in this category and four that are in this category and three that are in this category. And there's only one in each of these three categories. So most of the schools cost less than $14,001 per year.